you've got questions, well, we've got answers. We have them in to answer them. Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham Wealth Partners. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. It is good to be back with you as always, Bob. Good to have you because I have a question that I think is confusing to some. It goes like this. I'm confused about the rules with respect to funding my HSA in the year in which I sign up for Medicare. Help. <laughs> well, that's straightforward. Help. Uh, so this is one of those things that is very important to get right, because if you contribute money to your HSA that shouldn't be in there, uh, those amounts are subject to a 6% penalty for each year that they remain in the account not fixed. Now, the at the highest level, what's important to know is you cannot contribute to an HSA once you are enrolled in Medicare. Okay, so you if you're in Medicare, no more HSA contributions. Those two do not mix well. Now, depending upon the type of coverage someone has, that may, uh, may eliminate them completely from making HSA contributions, or perhaps a, a spouse, in some cases, may be able to continue making contributions. So for instance, if one individual is 65 and they have um, you know, coverage under a family HSA plan and the spouse continues to be in that HSA afterwards, the younger spouse, maybe they're 63, well, then they might be able to contribute as a single individual, right, for self-only coverage after, uh, after the time where they're no longer both on the plan. So at a high level, that's the most important thing for individuals to realize is that once you're on Medicare or certain other coverages, such as TRICARE, for instance, you are not eligible to contribute to a uh, to an HSA account. Right. So a couple follow-up questions. One is uh, you can sign up to enroll in Medicare three months before you turn 65. Uh, is that the point at which you can't contribute or do you have, it's once you are actually enrolled at age 65? So it's, it's at the time that you are enrolled. However, uh, it's important to understand that in some cases, there can be up to a six month look back as well. So if you are currently on your employer's coverage and you're working beyond, uh, let's say 65, you wanna be aware of this potential six month look back that uh, six months prior to when you begin uh, taking coverage under uh, your Medicare, you may want to stop making those HSA contributions. Mm. And you can do that on a prorated basis too, is that correct? Correct. That's exactly right. So if you are uh, X number of months through the year and that's going to apply, you can break up that HSA contribution into effectively like monthly amounts and contribute for the months that you are eligible, but not the months that you are ineligible. All right, Jeffrey, uh, answer that reader's question and then some. Well, we appreciate it. We love questions. If you've got one for Bob and I to tackle, let us know. Give us a shout by emailing us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And Bob and I look forward to seeing your questions in our inbox real soon.